Hello and welcome to Unbox It. Today I want to take a look at Bottom of the Ninth. It's a baseball card game. Um, it's designed by Daryl Lauder and Mike Mullins and it is uh, published by Dice Hate Me Games. <clears throat> and I think that there is a kind of like a co-publication with Greater Than Games but I'm not really sure how that works. But this was a present to me from my friend Gary. Thanks Gary. But if you're curious this is a nice small box. It is almost exactly the same size as the tiny Fantasy Flight Games box. So this is the Death Angel card game. It's almost exactly the same size. So it'll have a nice spot on my shelf just to stack right on top. But I want to open this up and I really don't know what to expect in here. Um, I've seen a couple pictures. And I know that the cards are supposed to look like old school baseball cards. Maybe even made exactly like old school baseball cards. So I'm really curious to see. Let's open it up and get into it. Okay. Here is our rule book. There's nice glossy pages. These are definitely not an old style printing. Um, print's not too bad. But here we go. Oh, look, we have gameplay variants already. Looks like maybe a harder game. Here's our solo rules. And we have 15 pages. It's not terrible. It's not super long. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, we have two sets of pieces. Well, these are nice. So this must be... Okay, these are the, part of the game is to guess whether it's going to be, where the pitch is, away or inside, high or low, bouncy or um, slow. We also have little base path runners meeples. These are cool. But... Yeah, these are screen printed, I read, and they look really nice. You can see this one has a little bit of a smear, but it must have happened when it was printed. That's okay. So we've got these guys in here. Here are, oops, yes, yeah, so these ones say high and low. These ones look nice too, high and low. And then here's another one for high and low. These are nice. These are big wood chunky bits. So you can see how big it is compared to the meeple. Here, let me hold it up closer. Yeah, so those feel nice to hold. Here we have some dice. This was a Kickstarter, which I did not back. But one of the things was I know that they got engraved dice. And these look really nice. Feel heavy and substantial, so that's good. Here's our Do Not Eat It packet. Okay, here is our the 20 card game pack. Also includes one stick of gum. It said on the back that it the cards came in like an old, like in a pack of baseball cards. That's fun. <clears throat> Let's pull it open. Come on, package. <laughs> Look at that. It is a stick of gum. It looks just like a stick of gum. On the back, it look it has our at bats for balls and strikes. That's really that is a really clever component. I do want to eat it. It looks like you should eat it. This piece of gum. And here are our cards. Okay, so here's our card checklist. Oh, that's great. They do that just like that in baseball cards. So here's our card checklist. Now, these are promotional cards. So that means I'm gonna have to track them down. Look, Bloodle the Noodle, Pete Bender, Mike Fitz, and Rain Delay. Well, I'm gonna be heading to eBay. And then we have our cards. So the artwork is really nice. You can see it's full, the fronts are full color. Here's Casey Petty. He's pretty buff. 
And then Ethan Roberto. He is a rookie. That looks cute. He's pretty small. But here's the interesting bit, the back. So it looks just like an old baseball card. And these are printed quite like an old baseball card where we have shiny and slick on the front and this is matte and feels like thick paper on the back. So I was really curious. So I got dug some old baseball cards out of my attic to see if we could match them. So here we have John Butcher from 1987 Tops. So this is almost 30 years old and it is the exact same size and it looks pretty close. The cards in the game for bottom of the ninth are definitely much thicker. So you can see here's a baseball card. I don't think you're putting this in the spokes of your tires. What else do I got? I got another one. This is Bowman. And here is Lee Stevens. And again, these are so much thicker. But it is really fun to see it look like an old baseball card. Here, he even has a fun fact. Manny throws post-game parties that are the envy of all the teams across the league. <laughs> Thanks, Manny Burgerhead. I'm going to try to find your way to your party. I mean, that's just like this one. Here's, here's Tom. He says his career highlights. Sidelined over a month last year with a broken wrist. Ah, but that's so fun. So it looks like there are 20 cards in that package, and one of them is this card checklist. So we're looking at 19. Okay, that's what we have there. Here is our little package of, um, I believe these are the solo cards. Man, I saw pictures of these, and they looked cool, but they just didn't do them justice. I hope that maybe this helps, but you got to really just hold them and feel it in your hand because there's really something about having slick material on the top and r rough material on the back. Oh wow, that's a great job. I'm sure they worked really hard to get that to ha get that to work. And it seems like it was well worth it. Okay, let's open these up. So I was curious about shuffling. Well, that didn't do it. How are you going to shuffle these without ruining them? But I don't think you shuffle them. I think those are just your players that you have. I think you even get to pick up your lineup or your lineup order. So these ones you shuffle because these are the manager's challenge. Yeah, this is the solo games, and these are regular cards. They're smaller by a little bit, but here, maybe that makes it easier. They're smaller by a little bit, but that shouldn't matter. And oh, yeah, so these look nice. I'm sure these will make sense when I read it. Here's Slump Buster. Can't think of, see the word Slump Buster without thinking of Mark Grace. But yeah, so here are these. And then we have our board. So you can see here is our bottom of the ninth player board. It says bottom of the ninth. It looks like they mowed it right into the field. I love it when fields do that. And then it looks like we can easily put our base running meeples on the board. So there it is. Oh, okay. this is bottom of the ninth. This is everything you're gonna find in the package. There are two expansions out there, which even though I haven't played this yet, I'm eager to get my hands on. So I love expansions and especially those um, especially the the promotional cards. Oh man, they sure got me suckered. Okay, I'm gonna get some baggies. Be right back. Here are my the manager's challenge cards. Um, and then I just put all of the tokens and the dice in one bag because you're gonna need them for each bag. So even though they were separated when I opened them, they're not really separated by player. Um, and here are all my player cards. And I feel like I just have to have the stick of gum inside this bag. And I, I really feel like this should smell. 
I want it to smell like gum. I wish they could have made it a scratch and sniff sticker. But, alas. Actually, we'll do it like this. That works out well. So there's everything inside the box. Oh, the rules. And there we have it. Bottom of the ninth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.